In this video, we will find the RMS value of half wave rectifier. So, first of all, the input signal of this half wave rectifier is given by V in that is equals to V naught sin omega t. And the range of the signal is 0 less than t less than capital T where t is the time period. Now, if we plot this input signal with time then we get the plot like this now that is the time period t that is v axis voltage axis that is time axis and that is initial point zero and that is the peak voltage v naught now for this input signal the output signal for half wave rectifier would be like this one okay here this is time period t and that is half time period t by 2 that is initial point 0 that is peak voltage v naught and that is time axis t okay now you can see that the output for the output signal that is v output is equals to v naught sin omega t for the range 0 less than t less than capital t by 2 it is this range and 0 for this one that is from t by 2 to capital T so that is from t by 2 to capital T this output voltage is 0 now the RMS voltage that is V RMS is given by square root of 1 by T integral 0 to t v output whole square into dt okay now we have to put the value of v output for different range so that is equals to 1 by t now we can break this integral in two part that is from 0 to t by 2 into v output square dt plus 1 by t t by 2 2 capital T v output square dt ok now for the range 0 to t by 2 that is this one the value of the v output is given by this one that is p naught sin omega t so put this value there that is the integral of 0 to t by 2 v naught sin omega t whole square into dt and for this range that is t by 2 to t the value of the v output is given by 0 so that is simply 0 put there ok now that is equals to square root of 1 by t integral of 0 to t by 2 v naught square sin square omega t into dt ok let's see this 2 here v naught is the constant so it get out of the integral and the remaining part 0 to t by 2 v naught sin square omega t into dt ok we can take this v0 square out of the square root so it becomes v0 into 1 by t square root of 0 to t by 2 sin square omega t now we can write this sin square omega t like half of 1 minus cos twice omega t ok into dt That is equals to V naught and here this half is also constant so we take this out of the integral and the remaining part is integral 0 to t by 2 1 minus cosine 2 omega t into dt 
now we can easily integrate this that's equal to v naught square root of 1 by twice t and the integral of this 1 with respect to dt is t minus integral of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t by 2 omega and the limit is from 0 to t by 2 ok now put the value of the boundary condition that is the limit that is v naught 1 by 2 is t put the value of the limits that is for upper limit is t by 2 so it becomes sin 2 omega into t by 2 by 2 omega now put the lower limit that is 0 and putting lower limit it will be 0 and sin 0 is also 0 ok so that's equals to v naught square root of 1 by tau s t t by 2 minus this becomes sin omega t by twice omega ok now we know that omega equal to 2 pi by t and from this omega equal t into 2 pi ok and put this value there we get that's equals to phi naught square root of 1 by twice t t by 2 minus sine of 2 pi by omega t that is 2 pi ok that's equals to v naught square root of 1 by twice t into t by 2 minus the value of sine of 2 pi is 0 so that's equals to v naught there 1 by twice t into t by 2 that's equals to v naught this tt cancelled square root of 1 by 4 that is v naught by 2 thus we get the RMS value of half wave rectifier that is v naught by 2 here v naught is the peak voltage